rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As always, starting with the name of Allah, who is the most gracious and the most merciful. I am here with my teammate, Suhaib. Hello, assalamu alaikum to all. My name is Suhaib Muzaffar Gram, class 9th B. Here with Tesla coil, model of Tesla coil. So I will tell more information about more information about Tesla coil. Tesla coil. This was the interesting topic of Nikolai Tesla. In the late 1891, Tesla was died to this of its model Tesla coil. He died in the lab while during the high voltage of Tesla coil. Tesla coil can this is a small model. It generates 15,000 volts by 5 volt of DC current. They, they have used different materials like fly pack, transformer, heat sink which is attached to the transmitter. There is spark gap which we have made from the release switch, primary coil, secondary coil and homemade capacitor. Capacitor is not synthetic, we have mostly used that capacitor, synthetic capacitor but that died with the high voltage. But we have now made high voltage capacitor. Does anybody know what's capacitor? Capacitor is a gadget. Not from the Dorimon's pocket, but from the physics's pocket. Capacitor holds of the small uh, amount of energy and uh, drains out whole capacity, whole energy at one time, while generating a large amount of 15,000 15, volts of atmospheric plasma. You can see here, this is the plasma generating from the capacitor. This is the 15,000 volts. We have provided a five volt of uh, DC current by our homemade modified uh, mobile charger. It releases 5 volts of DC current, then uh, uh, passes through the transformer. Which we have used it here the, uh, we have the principle of electromagnetic induction. We are due to the electromagnetic induction that uh, we can see the electricity is generated here, which releases the oscillation in the uh, ray transformer. Due to the more oscillations, the current DC direct current is changed into the alternating current. This alternating current is then passed through a ca homemade capacitor. In homemade capacitor, we have used salt water because salt water, we know uh, it, is, it is very easy to ionize salt water than the mineral water. And we have used aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is cheap and it is easy to label and it uh, conducts uh, less electricity than, uh, uh, rather than copper. Then we have made primary foil by using uh, the, we can say, the 1.5 mm of copper wire, which is insulated with rubber. Then we have used an insulated copper wire, which is 32 gauge. We have, uh, I think, made 400 to 500 turns to it, which creates the fluxes. The flux creates the uh, pulse, and the pulse creates high frequency 15,000 volts of plasma. Plasma is a state of physics. It is the seventh state of physics, as we have similar to three or four states, but it is the seventh state. So, uh, plasma is generated when high voltage of current is passed through ear gap where the ear is ionized and the electricity is passed transmitted for passive without wire. I think you should have a question in your mind. How if we know that ear is a bad conductor of electricity, how then the electricity is transferred from uh, upper switch to lower switch without any wire connection? Ah, yes, the accumulation of charges. Because the ion in the gap get ionized and the charges accumulate at one time and creating a pulse that we call plasma. Now, how, what is the application of this Tesla coil? Tesla coil, this, the, the dream of Nikolai Tesla was to make the world free of wires. This is actually the model, this is the small model of Tesla coil that uh, the Nikolai Tesla made, so that was a very larger model that created the 15,000 terawatts of electricity at one time, due to which he died. But his main motive was to uh, transfer electricity without wires. And this is the small model of that we can do. We can here also show the color growing, but with the uh, light that doesn't grow here, that will grow in the dark rooms, then we will run. Yeah, we can feel that sparking over there and the glow. Can you feel that? Uh, a bit of it, not more. Uh, many of the models like 
in order from wind electricity, uh, snow, uh, smoke alarm, fire alarm, silent sensor, and many other things. Yes. 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 But unfortunately, we are living in a society where uh, such innovative minds are not allowed to grow. He has been banned from conducting those experiments and his lab was destroyed last year. All his equipment were taken away by the... He is banned from conducting those experiments further, otherwise he was having a well furnished lab at his home. And he is doing a lot of experiments and he has developed many more in a lab. Fire alarm sensor and the bus, but the best event. And he has locked his, he has secured his home with a fingerprint sensor that only opens with his fingerprint. Thank you. We have done a lot of calculations for that and a lot of hard work. What synthetic uh, catastrophes died? Uh, first of all, Dudley also died. We have used uh, Dudley before. Uh, flyback transformer that also died, but still it's sad that fail failure kicks you. But we should not, we have not to be down. It's sad, line, uh, it's a metaphor that if you kick me down, you better pray that I don't get up. This is the small model of our Tesla coil. Hope you appreciate us and thank you. momentum. See, you can see here. So, uh, when we when we are striking the M mass, the M mass in, M mass is getting out. This is the law of conservation of momentum. When M mass body is striked to the M mass, the uh, total momentum before the collision and the after the collision remains constant. This is the law of conservation of momentum. This is uh, its name is uh, on the Newton uh, Newton's cradle. This is not made by Newton. The, uh, the laws of Newton applies on this, that's why this is called Newton's cradle. Otherwise, this was made by the Galileo. He also made the experiment of uh, gravity is equal. Gravity shows equal effect to the, all the objects, whether it's uh, heavy or lighter. This is a law of conservation of momentum. Hope you guys enjoy it. Cover it from that side. Is it working? Muzaffar? No, it is hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's visible. Quite visible. Wonderful. Yeah, so please. Focus on it. Take this hand. Yeah. Wonderful. So you... Hologram is the virtual imaging of a real image. Hologram is used at many uh, science labs and nowadays it's used in the educational purpose. It shows the, uh, all the uh, hologram 3D picture of a 2D picture. Uh, it plays the 2D edges, curves in that the 3D cocardism. Myself, Shari Ijaz from Class Town TE. Today I have made this model of lungs, how lungs work. And it represents how contraction and expansion of lungs is done during inhalation and exhalation. And now firstly let me tell you which materials I have used to make my model. Here I have used balloons which represent lungs. And this pipe attached to this syringe. Firstly let me tell you this pipe represents here trachea. And this syringe works as a nose or mouth. Now let me tell you how it works. When we, when we inhale, the expansion of lungs happens. Are you people clear to see it? It is because air is filled in lungs. And when we exhale it, lungs 
contracts and this was all about my model. Thank you. Myself, Malik Malha, and I have made this water dispenser by the means of the mo real motive behind this was to use this hash that we all have in our homes. And if you burn this plastic, this cardboard, it will definitely pollute the air. So, why not to use it in some different way? So, what we do, uh, what we did in this uh, model is it's a water dispenser and it works on the principle of pressure and gravity. So the pressure, the pressure of air outside the water, outside the bottle is greater than the inside of the water. And the pressure, pressure wants to get into the water bottle by the means of a hole that we have here. So the water does not leak from anywhere. And as you can see, the glass is empty. As soon as we um, put it here, and and as soon as we open it. The water comes out and if, as soon as we close it, the water stops and if you can see, if you open it, the water comes. So it is all made up of hash. We also have water dispenser in our schools, but it is costly and that's not made up of hash. So this is all based on the principle of gravity and pressure. So thank you. Hamza. And a very good morning to all of you present here. It's me, Hamza Manjoon, with my classmate, Fiona Fayaz, and we are today going to discuss our model, that is the brain. This model was actually prepared by Nabila, Shima, Moida, and Mavia from class 10. So it's all their hard work, and please give a huge round of applause for their hard work. Please come here on the stage. Small compared to others, but we all know it's the mightiest of all. Now, as I said, brain is the mightiest and the most complex organ of our body. It is the widest and the uppermost part of our central nervous system, which weighs about 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms in an adult human. It controls almost every function we do, whether it be running, walking, or eating, etc., etc. Or, uh, here I would like to pose a question. Uh, a fluid is there which is in continuous circulation between the brain and the spinal cord. What is that fluid called? What? Yes, that's the correct answer. It's the cerebrospinal fluid. And it's produced by the appendable cell. And it acts as a shock absorber and provides immunological protection. The surface of the brain is not uniform as we all know. It has got elevations and depressions as you can see here. And these are called gyri and sulci respectively. And for more information, I would like to hand the mic to Fiona. Now, I will discuss about the parts of a brain. The brain is divided into three parts. It's forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Fourth brain is also called prosencephalon and is the thinking part of the brain. It has three parts. It's diencephalon, cerebrum, and it is uh, di uh, olfactory lobes. Cerebrum is also cerebrum is the largest part of a brain, consisting of the 80% of the total brain. And the second part of a brain is midbrain. Midbrain it locates at the base of a brain and it is and it is located at the base of a brain and it acts as a bridge that transmits signals from uh, forebrain and hindbrain. And the last part is hindbrain. Hindbrain it has three parts. It's spons feroli, uh, medulla oblongata, and cerebrum. Cerebrum is the second largest part of a brain and is also called little brain, consisting 12.5 of the total brain. Thank you for your attention.